Morning routines are useless is something I hear people say quite a lot and I couldn't disagree more with that statement. Today, I'm gonna to be trying the most scientifically backed optimal morning routine, as stated by the neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, who if you don't know, has a podcast where he discusses evidence-based practices for a variety of aspects of life. So let's cut straight to the chase. This morning routine has three criteria. The first is sun exposure to your eyes and skin within one hour of waking for five to 10 minutes. The second is exercise, and the third is cold exposure. Let's see if this actually works or is it just pseudoscience? So it's raining only lightly today, um, but because it's raining, I'm just gonna be sitting under the gola and get my light exposure from there. I'm gonna do about five minutes of light exposure and just look at the sky and maybe listen to like an audio book or something like that. But let's see, it's first thing in the morning, getting some light in, probably good for me, all right. The second thing that Andrew Huberman says, which is part of an optimal morning routine, is to delay your caffeine 60 to 90 minutes after you wake up. Now, the reason he says this is because you want to give your body time to clear out adenosine. And adenosine is the molecule that binds to receptors. And when that builds up, you feel more and more tired throughout the day. So he says in the morning, wait 60 to 90 minutes and let that adenosine be washed out and then have some coffee to block adenosine from being on those receptors. Now the issue is I don't drink coffee regularly. So he says an alternative to this is to also exercise early in the morning, which is something I normally do do. And it's something that I've been trying to do more and more often. So it's actually gonna be sort of familiar. Got my water. I've got to finish this before the end of the workout. All right, so I've done my workout. Now we're on to the third and final part of the optimal morning routine, which is to increase your body temperature. Andrew Huberman generally says to associate increased body temperature with more wakefulness and decreased body temperature with more sleepiness. So to increase body temperature, it's a bit uh, paradoxical. We do a cold shower. Essentially, if you make the surface of your body cold, your core body temperature increases. So you might get that feeling when you have a cold shower, suddenly when you go outside, you feel actually quite hot. That's what is happening when that happens. I haven't had a cold shower in a while. I used to have them every day and then I got lazy and I'm very sad I don't do it anymore because I used to even do ice baths. So it's gonna be really interesting having to go through that shocking feeling again, but I am glad to bring this practice back and hopefully it will sort of bring that adrenaline to be pumped into my system and feel a bit more alert and awake today. Finally, sun exposure done, workout done, cold exposure done. I feel like I just can't wait to work. <laughs> like, it's sort of annoying how long the um, morning routine has taken because it's just like, I feel like so much of the day has gone past and I haven't even started working yet. So that's a little annoying. But on a side note, I feel fantastic. Like I love having a cold shower. I feel very awake, very fresh. Um, my body feels great because I worked out, I got hydrated. So 
in terms of mood, I feel fantastic. In terms of concentration, I feel like I can, like I can't wait to work right now, which is, I know, very cringe to say. Um, but just want to work. Two hours later. All right, so I've been working for most of the morning now. I had two and a bit Pomodoro sessions, and they were good. They were like pretty focused, um, not that distracted. I feel like normally I'm a bit more distracted, whereas today the focus was a bit more intense, which was really good actually. So where's my energy level at? It's slightly higher than usual. So right now is about when I start getting a bit tired, a bit like fatigued, but I feel pretty decent. Like I feel pretty good. Um, I did just have my first first meal of the day and on that point holy moly was I hugely ravenous my appetite was huge and that's probably because I did that workout in the morning so that's something you got to factor in is if you're working out early in the morning you're going to eat earlier in the day as well sometimes you can't do as many work sessions if you're just so hungry mood Mood's been good, again, because I think you start your day on a positive note. You start your day on, I'm gonna sit outside, I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna have a shower. Like, it's pretty hard to feel bad during those things. Um, because you're sort of just focused on doing them and they're, they're generally nice activities as well and things I enjoy doing. Last one, my motivation and dash, this was the focus part as well. Like I said, I think it's higher than usual. Like normally my motivation is good, but then, you know, right about this time it gets a bit lower. I have been feeling pretty keen to just work today. Part of that also comes because you spend so long in the morning like doing all this sort of stuff and it might be worsened because I'm recording everything. I just feel like oh, I wasted all this time or not wasted but I just use all this time so now I have to make sure I like make my work time really efficient so that's good and then the focus like I said has been pretty pretty solid I must say this is my like day check-in I want to check in later in the afternoon normally in the afternoons when I get a dip in energy so we'll see if that still happens when you do this sort of routine Late afternoon now. So, how am I feeling? I have felt really awake for basically this whole time until about like 15 minutes ago when I decided to have some junk snacks. I immediately felt tired and sleepy afterwards. So, hey, there you go. Don't eat junk food late in the afternoon. But surprisingly, like my main sort of point here was that I was super awake at like, you know, 4.30 p.m., which, doesn't normally happen. Normally I get quite tired around that time. Without a doubt, there's a difference in the late afternoon for me. As someone who doesn't drink coffee, um, there definitely felt like a difference. My concentration has been pretty great today. Um, the Pomodoro sessions I've been doing have remained pretty like focused and directed and um, I do like my harder work during the day because that, that's when I work the best. So I've been pretty like on the ball with that sort of stuff. Very minimally distracted. Uh, some days I have where I'm just like always wanting to go do things on my phone or just like go do all these random little tasks and not actually do my proper work I need to be doing. Today that hasn't happened, which is really good. And with that, my motivation has been really high today as well. A few moments later. So I think I jinxed myself basically straight after I made my last check-in. I got sleepy within like 10 minutes and then boom, drowsy and very tired. Um, so I just had a 15 minute like power nap. Feeling better now, energy is, I'm not sure yet, still in some sleep inertia, so we'll see, but keep you guys updated. It is pretty much the end of the day. Something I've really noticed about today is that my work sessions have been a lot deeper uh, than they would normally be. You know, it's helped me sort of just get through the work and be more, con like get through a large volume of work and be um, focusing a lot deeper than I normally would, uh, you know, in comparison to say yesterday or something like that. So that's been really good. Uh, in terms of my energy level, I would say it's about normal, like maybe a little bit more. There's definitely more energy in the morning, I would say. I still get that afternoon dip, 
which I think is just sort of part of it. And I relieve it by just having like a 15 minute nap. It's been a good work day. Like I've done quite a lot. Um, I work like I felt good throughout the day. My mood's been good throughout the day. Concentration's been higher than normal. Motivation's been high. Um, so it's been good, very good. And um, Remy's sleepy now, so I'm gonna go put him to bed and then maybe do a bit more work, do some light reading, chill out. And the lights will go off as well. As per Andrew Huberman, he says post 10 p.m. dim all the lights and all that kind of stuff. So, this sleep time? Hmm? All right. Seven hours later. Welcome to the next day. This is the morning after the Andrew Huberman Optimal Morning Routine Challenge. I'm gonna split up my final thoughts in pros and cons. So the first pro is that I slept really well. Very deep sleep. I haven't slept that deeply in quite a while, but there's a caveat to that because recently I've been not sleeping as much as I normally would like to just because I've been going out with friends and that's sort of been carving into my sleep time. So there might be other factors at play for that point, but definitely a pro. Second thing, I did the morning routine again today, this morning. I haven't cold showered yet and I'll get to why in a second, but it feels great. Like I sat outside on a chair, looked at the sky for five minutes, then worked out for 15 minutes and it was great. I feel quite alert and feel good now. The third pro and probably the biggest one is that my work output increased yesterday and I have tangible evidence for this. So I keep like a track of like, um, I don't know if you can see that. I keep a track of um, like how many Pomodoro sessions I can do in a day. If you can see there yesterday, I did seven out of 10. So I aim for 10. Um, but like recently I haven't done seven for you know this last two weeks so that was really good and there might be again different things causing that like I was recording a video uh, so I was more motivated but to me it's just it's just sort of huge that that happened yesterday um, so it tells me something I did something good yesterday and the only thing I really changed was this Andrew Huberman optimal morning routine so that's good all right, the cons now. The first thing is that the morning routine can take up some time in the morning. And so there was this constant feeling yesterday I had of like, okay, when is the morning routine gonna stop so I can start work? Like I was just so keen to start work. I guess you gotta factor that in and whether that means you do shorter like sun exposure, shorter workout, uh, shorter shower, whatever it is, just so you can do things quicker get and get to your actual day sooner uh, second point to do with the training in the workout in the morning and the shower in the morning so the issue is sometimes like today for example i have uh, boxing training today so in the afternoon i'm going to go boxing and then i'm going to train then and also shower after i box so it sort of doesn't make sense to do those two things again in the morning what i've thinking I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna to do today is I've done a very short 15 minute workout, just like strength based, nothing too intense and save my like, you know, fatigue and muscles for the later workout in the day. And then the shower that I'm gonna have now is just gonna literally be get in, quickly have a cold shower and then get out, not even like do anything because I don't know, I just don't see it as time efficient to have two showers in a day. Last point, I still had my afternoon dip in energy yesterday. So I got to figure out what is causing that. I don't think this morning routine is alleviating any of that. So you still get that dip in energy and maybe, you know, if you take uh, coffee, maybe that alleviates that, but unfortunately I don't really. So for me, it might be to do with nutrition. So that's something I'm going to look into. Thanks so much for watching that guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider sharing around. It really helps us get our message to more people. And if you want to support the channel, consider subscribing. It's a zero cost way of supporting the channel. It really means a lot to us. Thanks again. See you in the next one.